Congresswoman Giffords was shot at very close range, the bullet apparently entering her head from the rear and then traveling out the front of the skull. But doctors say she is responding to commands. They are cautiously optimistic that she will recover. Surgeon Dr. Peter Ree describing her condition earlier today. But this it wasn't a little grazing wound through the brain. This was a devastating wound that traveled the entire length of the brain on the left side. And, uh, you know, he's downplaying some of the efforts. I mean, he, he said they saved their lives. The neurosurgeons, Dr. Wine and Dr. Lamol, saved their patients' lives. So, you know, with the function that she had before the surgery tells us how much injury the bullet did. But the fact that she had a lot of preservation before surgery is what making this situation as well as it can. Let's talk about her prognosis with Dr. Ed Cornell. He's a neurosurgeon with Brain and Spine Surgeons of New York. He's also one of the doctors who treated then White House Press Secretary James Brady after Mr. Brady was shot during the attempted assassination of President Reagan. Uh, Dr. Cornell, I was astounded, and maybe you were too yesterday, to learn that a bullet passed entirely through her skull and through her brain, and yet she survives. How often does that kind of thing happen? Well, that is very remarkable, in fact. You're right, John. Of course, when a bullet goes through the brain, it is indeed remarkable that someone can survive and have the possibility of recovering. The amount of force and energy that's transmitted through the brain in a gunshot wound is enormous. And when it traverses the entire brain, then certainly there is a large amount of energy transmitted throughout the brain. She's very, very fortunate that apparently some of this energy had to be absorbed, in fact, by the skull, and um, then the track through the brain must have been a fairly clear one, and then additional we, we, energy transmitted to the remaining skull. We have that, what we believe to be roughly the tra uh, trajectory uh, on the screen right now, as described by the physicians who treated her. They made the point that the bullet stayed entirely through the left side in the left side of her, her brain. It apparently entered her skull from the rear and exited through the front somewhere above the eye. Uh, but they made the point during the news conference that if it had veered just slightly toward the right and crossed that center line of the brain to enter into the right hemisphere, we'd be talking about a very different situation here. That's correct. In fact, when uh, the uh, bullet traverses both sides of the brain, we often consider that to be a fatal injury. Uh, there are major blood vessels that the uh, bullet could traverse that could cause massive amounts of bleeding in the brain, and that would be certainly fatal. The uh, area that the bullet did traverse, according to these physicians, is important in certain kinds of function. It's very important for vision and for movement of the right side of the body. And so it is certainly possible that there may be some weakness that persists for Representative Giffords and that she may indeed have some problems with vision on her right side. But the fact that she was able to respond to commands indicates that she has some preserved language abilities. And if the trajectory of the bullet was high enough in the brain, it may have avoided language areas so that she may have no. preserved speech, which is, of course, critical. We, we certainly are wishing for the best, but she has already made an amazing recovery. Dr. Ed Cornell, thanks very much for being with us. My pleasure. Thank you.